All right, so this is the Motorola Click running Moto Blur. Motorola uh, has built its own uh, version of Android, basically. It's based on the Android 1.5 Cupcake version, but Moto Blur is a software service uh, that delivers all of your messages, all of your contacts, all social networking, merges it together. So, um, in terms of the hardware, it is a slider. Query. It's got a full QWERTY keyboard. On the back, it has a 5 megapixel camera. And a uh, little bat wing lights up there, which is kind of cool if you're uh, demoing in the dark. So, in terms of how the home screen is structured, it's incredibly customizable. So, you've got a home screen, and you can flick to the right or the left. And as you flick, you'll see that I've set this up according to my preferences. I have my entertainment, uh, news feeds, and widgets on this screen. Can Do you place over. the widgets where you like them? Or? Yeah, absolutely. So the way it works is you can find an open space, just hold your thumb down, and it's going to pop okay. so up a menu. Like a standard Android. Yep. And uh, it has all of the standard Android widgets plus the Motorola Blur specific widgets like happenings and calendar and messaging. So and how many home screen panels are there to customize? There's five. So there's center, and you can go two left and two right. Okay, so what you see here is, you know, I've got my calendar, I've got a little photo frame with my daughter in there, and have downloaded some widgets like this neat little Wi-Fi uh, switch as well. So in terms of, let me go back to the home screen, and basically, whatever, if you scroll right here, you'll see I also have a little music player set up here. And play the music. And if you hit the home screen, it's going to take you right back to, to the true home screen, right? The others we call panels. So what makes this different is, uh, first of all, on the home screen here, you see a couple of different widgets that you won't see in vanilla Android. Uh, this one is called the Happenings widget. And what this is doing is there's a, the Moto Blur service is connecting to Facebook and Twitter and MySpace, and it's pulling all of the feeds from your different friends, and it's channeling them into this widget. So what you'll see on the front is real live information that's constantly being updated as Moto Blur pushes information out to you. So you can open that up, and uh, kind of, you know, you'll see the picture, and you can read the status updates, and as you click right, you can uh, continue kind of quickly seeing what these are about. If you want to make a comment, very simply, you can uh, click on that and uh, open up the keyboard or do it via virtual keyboard and say, you know, hi there. Okay, and you send that off and it's going to update uh, Facebook in this case. Well, which services does Blur integrate with Facebook? Twitter? So in terms of social networks, it pulls your Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter feeds. It also pulls certain feeds out of Last.fm. And because this is a service, we can actually connect in new services at the server side. And uh, so what you'll see is even if you buy the phone today, you'll see new services being popped in here over time without having to do a client so Flickr side. integration? Oh, great. doesn't have Flickr at this point. That's one to look forward to. Okay, so that's the uh, happenings widget. You'll also see a widget here for messages. So same kind of concept as I open that up, I can scroll through. And what I'll have here is all of my personal email, whether it's Yahoo, Gmail, any other pop IMAP source. It also stays as well. It does support Exchange 2003 as well as 2007. So as I click through here, I can see all of those and either reply, you know, directly from these uh, cards, or I can choose to go into the applications as well. So on the front here, these are widgets, one for messaging, one for happenings. I can also go into, say, messaging. And here you'll see all of the different message sources that I've set up. So it's not just email. It's work and personal email. It's your text messages. Um, that's actually the universal inbox. So it's all the text messages you've seen. And of course, what it's doing here, you'll see pictures populated coming for from people Facebook, Twitter, coming wherever. from wherever, right? So uh, I'll show you the context in a minute, but it's basically channeling all that together. So here are all the different message sources that I have set up. I've got my text messaging, Facebook messaging, Gmail, Motorola, MySpace, so on and so forth. I also have this universal inbox option. So when I go in there, it's going to give me kind of one inbox for all of the different messages. And you can see based on the type that indicates it's an exchange email message. I can, of course, scroll through there. Full push support? Um, it's, uh, it's actually scheduled pull. So the user can go in and set uh, the frequency with which they want the email to pull. Now, that's for email. In terms of the social networking messages, that is pushed out to the device.
one more point with exchange. Um, calendaring and contacts through exchange as well? Or yes, indeed. Okay, so that's um, uh, messy. Actually, let me show you one other thing here that's pretty cool. Going back into the universal inbox, if I want to um, compose a message, it's going to allow me to compose via any of those different sources. So, you know, let's say I want to send a Facebook message. And I'll pop that open, and I can, uh, you know, email that off to whomever, okay? If I uh, want to compose a message, let me show you an example in Exchange, and I'm going to show you something that's unique to Moto Blur. So say I'm going to compose a, a message in Exchange. I can, I'll send it out to the whole, I have a demo group set up here, so it does support uh, sending to customized groups. I'll just say hello. One of the unique things that we have is actually rich text composition. So what that means is you know you can use bolding, colors, colors. And as far as I know, this is the only product in the market that actually allows you to compose. Um, Composing full HTML. Yeah. So there you go. So that's a rich text email. Send that out. So when you send that to any other you know, desktop computer or something, it's, of course, that'll come up. Yeah, as long as it's capable of HTML, it's going to display that. All right, let me show you the context. So it's kind of similar concept with context where the Motoblur servers, they're connecting to all of the different sources that have contacts whether it's email, social messaging, social networking, and it's funneling those into uh, one location. All right, so you have one set of contacts across all your different sources. You can choose to view uh, only your Facebook contacts, for example. So you can filter by service. You can filter it by source. You can also create custom groups. So if you have, you know, just my Moto Buds, I can create a group and essentially have, you know, basically an inbox for those guys. So 